I feel like my mustache is name is Brian. Hey everybody, Ben, Nick, Bob Boz Dad Cast for a brand new episode of Ask a Dad. Oh yeah! It has been a while. It's been a little bit. Yeah, we have been yeah. busy. We're gonna jump right into the questions. We have one, two, three, four, five, fifth uh, questions this week. First one comes from Bob Mazzola. Bob. Bob wants to know what do you say to your kid after the first time they walk in on mommy and daddy? You know. Cuddling or wrestling? Uh, yeah. Um, well, have you had that happen yet? Not yet. She is now able to be more mobile when she wakes up in the middle of the night. And okay. so we just say, hey, we're just playing. We're just wrestling. We're just having fun. We're just, we're just playing. So I think that's going to be the, uh, I think that's going to be the go-to. We've been close to being caught before. Mm-hmm. Uh, normally I just stick to sock on the doorknob. Because, really, they should get that message from a young age. Right. So, sock on the right. doorknob, you don't go through. That's one that you should learn early. Yeah. yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, it's, uh, oh, we were just playing. Mommy That's lost funny. her keys. Yeah. <laughs> there is that question. Right. Our next question comes from Trent, who is at I Has Kid. I Has Kid. I Very funny I comic. Kid. Oh, yeah. Um, his question is, how do you break the news to your kids that there isn't really a Santa Claus or an Easter Bunny or what have you? Mm. Uh, I have not gotten there yet. Just lie to them forever until they're like 30 years old. Forever. Away. Yeah. Forever is a pretty good one. Yeah, especially about Santa Claus. Or just yeah. keep it going forever. Or just keep it going forever. And yeah. what do you mean there's no Santa Claus? Just, let's just keep. Next okay. question. Next, uh, question. next question from our buddy Greg Washington from Greg. Daddy Porter. Whose show we were just on last week? Go check right. it out. Yeah. Um, what will you remember most about the 2016 Dad Two Summit? Oh, I gotta say, meeting the, you, uh, Greg. Greg, You're welcome. Uh, I gotta say, going to the Smithsonian and experiencing in such a way, uh, experiencing that in such a way where we got to play with Legos and look at exhibits. And drink beer and have awesome food. It was just uh, absolutely fantastic. Uh, and Patrick Quinn from Life of Dad balancing a chair on his chair. Right. Like, just doing the. In the middle of the Smithsonian. That was awesome. Doing the thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, but top moment for me was Brad Melter's keynote speech. Absolutely. I think both of our keynote speakers were really, really awesome. They Brad were. Meltzer, David uh, Coyango. Derek. 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 Yes, from the Global Soap Project. From at Robot Friday. Robot Friday. Yes. Robot Friday. It's a Robot Saturday when we record. Sorry, I stopped. Um, should I be making drinking jokes with high school kids? Ooh. No? See, this is it. It's right. It's a, well. Part of it. I mean, kind honestly, of. it depends on the company. And how well you know them. Yeah. And if it's your kids, obviously you know what's best. But if it's other people's kids, and then Maybe they go not. back to their parents and say, hey, you know, Mr. Such-and-such was yeah. making jokes about such-and-such. Hey, that's a little... Yeah, and if you're a shaky. teacher, don't do it. Anyway, so this question comes from our most recent guest on the podcast. Oh, Amy. Amy Good from uh, Play Well. Play Well, yeah. Um, should you pay children to do their chores... Or should they be expected to do them because they are part of the family? Right. I mean, it comes at an older age when they would start to do chores. Yeah. Have you guys started doing it yet? You got to find No. Out. No. Yeah, I mean, right. she she just likes to help. Well, that's nice. So, I mean, if she continues to like to help, right. then I won't pay her. But uh, I would envision at some point she would get an allowance. You know, if I actually have money at some point in my life where I can just give it to my kid. Right. Um, but, I mean, we didn't get paid for chores growing up right like we had a list of chores that we had to do we were part of the family we had to do dishes we had to vacuum we had to dust right um that was just part of growing up as children yeah you know, same family, here you, you yeah. kind of carry your, your load um it it honestly depends it, either you give your kids allowance and it doesn't matter what they do right or you come up to with a contract basically where you get paid for this yeah but accountability is definitely the most important part. Like what he said. What I said. So that brings us to the end of our five awesome questions this week. 
this Thank week. you so much, everybody. Uh, if you would like to be featured on an episode with us, um, send us your questions using the yeah. hashtag AskADad on Twitter. Or Instagram, um, or send Instagram. a little picture or a very short video. Uh, asking your question um, at PBDadCast yeah. or email it to us. PBDadCast at gmail.com. Uh, you can also drop it on our Facebook wall, which is uh, Facebook.com slash Poppin' Bottles Dadcast. Yeah, man. That is it. That's all you have to do. We love questions. Send them to us. We'll do our best to Give us your them. questions and we will regurgitate an answer somehow. I'll just throw up. We will see you guys next week. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe and like and, and comment. Select and all the 